Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball guys how's everybody doing today autographs 2000 here and in today's video I have got four autographs through the mail TTMs and we're also going to open up another pack of 2023 tops heritage as always as always we will start with some TTMs the first one is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have got Dave Duncan. <clears throat> he signed one of one in 10 days. He had a career batting average of 214 with 109 home runs, 341 RBIs. He played 11 years. He appeared in 929 games. He played from 64 to 76. He played with the Athletics, Indians, and Orioles. He was an All-Star in 1971 when he hit 15 home runs, knocked in 40, and batted 253. Um, his best year was the next year, 1972, when he hit 19 home runs and knocked in 59. Um, he won a World Series in 1972 <clears throat> with the A's. And then from 1978 through 2011, he was a pitching coach under Tony La Russa. And that was for the White Sox, the Cardinals, and the A's. Longtime pitching coach for Tony La Russa. All right, our next return is from Raleigh, North Carolina. And we have got Barry Foote. He signed three of three in 44 days. He had a career batting average of 230 with 57 home runs, 230 RBIs. He played 10 years. He appeared in 687 games. He played from 73 to 82. And he played with the Expos, Phillies, Cubs, and Yankees. His best year was in 1979 when he hit 16 home runs, knocked in 56, and batted 254. And each one of these is smeared right over here on the right side. See that smear? Big time smear up here. And then even the stickers is smeared. It's got a nice signature, but somehow the all three got smeared up there to the top right. I don't know. Barry Foot. All right, our third return is from Santa Ana, California. We have got Jim Campanis. He signed three of three in 35 days. He had a career batting average of 147 with four home runs, nine RBIs. He played six years. 
He appeared in 113 games. He played from 66 to 73. And he played with LA, Kansas City, and Pittsburgh. Jim Campanis. All right, before we get to our last return, we're going to open up pack number two on this top heritage box. We opened a pack on the last video, and it wasn't the greatest. So we're hoping that this pack will be better. So let's see what we got. We're going to start off with a Connor Joe. And then we've got a Derek Hall. We got Mr. Lane Tana, Thomas. John Carlos Stanton. We have Christian Yelich. Josh Donaldson. We have Watergate plagued Nixon resigns U.S. presidency. We got MJ Melendez. And then we have Adolis Garcia, who was in the home run derby last night. He only hit 17. And a lot of it is because his pitching coach was making him work last night. Garcia had to take pitches. He wasn't able to swing at every pitch. And I think if Mr. Garcia's in it again, I think he should pick somebody different than Mr. Old Tony Beasley. So he wasn't he wasn't doing too good. All right, our last return is from South Jersey, New Jersey. And we have got a football return. We have got Mike Rogier. He signed two of two in 10 days. During his NFL career, he had 4,462 yards and 30 touchdowns. He played seven years. He appeared in 59 games. He played from 85 to 91. And he played with Houston and Atlanta. He was a pro bowler in 1987 and 1988. Um, in 1988, he had 1,002 yards and also 10 touchdowns. Um, he did play two years before his NFL career in the USFL. In those two years, he had 2,153 yards and 15 touchdowns. He is in the College Football Hall of Fame. And he is the 1983 Heisman Trophy winner. Mike Rogier. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.